Daily Devotional for September 26. Today's scripture reading will be 1 Corinthians 15, verse 34. Awake to righteousness and do not sin. For some do not have the knowledge of God. I speak this to your shame. Well, you know what? There is a great awakening taking place I was going to say in this nation, but around the world, in the body of Christ. You know, it starts there. We have got to wake up first. And I believe that there is an awakening taking place. And you know what? We need to uh, n just don't keep everything inside the four walls of the church. If you're born again, a good friend of mine says, if you're born again, then you're a full-time evangelist. Every place that you go, everything that you do should be uh, you know, it's a place of authority that you have and you have the right and really are commanded to teach and preach and, you know, do the good works that the gospel talks about. You know, heal the sick, raise the dead, cast out demons. You know, this is what you're commissioned to do because you're born again. Okay, you may not have all the scriptures down pat, but, you know, you have the Holy Spirit within you. And you are not limited except if you side with the enemy and take on the fear of man, then, uh, you know, have the faith of God, not the fear of man, and you will do the good works, okay? Um, so it's an awakening to righteousness. And righteousness, you know, it's a quality of being right in the eyes of God, okay? What is, what is his moral standard? You know, this nation has gone so far away from what God would consider moral. And I don't want to get into all that, but, you know, we need to have uh, a sense of morality, okay? And, um, you know, the last part of this sentence here, it says, I speak this to your shame. Well, you know, we're all responsible. If you have opportunity to minister to somebody and you don't, you know, if God has given you something to say to someone, you're responsible for that, okay? Because that little word, that little seed that you plant in someone's heart, okay? You may say it, <clears throat> they may not want to hear it, but if God has given it to you, it may pierce their heart. It may be something that would make absolutely no sense to you. Okay, I remember Bob saying about at church one time, he called out macaroni and cheese. Okay, now, honest, that was a, a lady and her family who had come to church, and this lady was waiting. She knew that her time was coming short, and she had one son that didn't know the Lord yet. And she went to the church, asked God for a word, so, you know, would confirm to her that her son would be saved. And sure enough, Bob called out macaroni and cheese. Well, that lady got up and left the church. So, and all of her family that was with her left also. So they thought, well, Bob, you know, if you offended somebody. And no, that was the word. Her son drove a truck that delivered macaroni and cheese. So that was a key word to her that she was looking for, okay? So don't waste your opportunities, okay? Awaken to righteousness and awaken the body of Christ every place that you go. Okay? All right. Till next time. Be blessed.